Hello viewers welcome back to another weekend episode today i am back again with a very special dish from south india tamil nadu enne kathrikai or we call it baby egg plant gravy curry enne kathrikai is a very popular dish in tamil nadu but it is prepared in different ways in different regions but the basics are the same in india they pair this with biryani rice for special occasions and weddings and this has been one of my favorite south indian recipes subscribe to nazima's taste of home press the bell icon for latest updates i have taken about 10 baby egg plants and we need one large onion finely chopped one tomato and 10 to 12 shallots and about 7 to 8 garlic pods and a sprig of curry leaf 5 tablespoons of grated coconut a lemon sized tamarind pulp rinse and wipe the eggplant and discard the stem and mark x cut at the top of the eggplant just like this not a very deep cut but slightly up to the middle Heat a heavy bottom pan, add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. Fry the eggplant on a medium heat for about 7 to 10 minutes, stirring frequently. Now let's grind the masala paste for this dish. Add the onions and tomatoes, shredded coconut, add the tamarind pulp. Half teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoons of red chili powder, and then let's blend it into a fine paste. And meanwhile, let's check the eggplant frying. While blending the masala, I forgot to add the salt, so let's add some salt and blend it again to a very fine paste, and add it to a bowl and keep it aside. Now this eggplants are getting ready. Have patience and fry it without burning until very soft just like this and keep it aside. Now let's heat another pan. Add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of sesame oil or olive oil. When the oil heats up, add 1 teaspoon mustard seeds and fenugreek seeds. Add 1 tablespoon urad dal or ulundu and fry it for about 30 seconds and then let's add the shallots. along with the garlic pods and curry leaves saute everything together and then let's cover it and cook on medium heat for about 2 minutes and now it is semi cooked and then now let's add the fried baby egg plant along with the coconut masala paste and give it a very good mix combine everything together add half a cup of water cover and cook until the oil separate and oozes out on medium heat now this has been simmering for about 12 minutes now let's open and now you can see the oil has separated i am going to add a small piece of jaggery to balance the taste Now that's our delicious inna kathrikai curry or we call it kulambu is ready to be served as a side dish for biryani or not only for biryani it also goes excellent with rice chapati and idli too hope you enjoy this recipe if you like this recipe please share it with your friends and family please do try out this recipe and leave me a feedback see you soon with another interesting recipe thanks for watching see you later